In Creo Parametric, you can create an external simplified representation, which is a simplified rep in its own separate special kind of assembly file. So why would you want to do that? Imagine this scenario. You are a cable harness designer and you need to create the cable harnesses for this vehicle and you want to reference components from all over the top level assembly. Or maybe you are a design engineer and you want to work on the interior. And again, you need to reference components from all over the top level assembly. Well, normally you would create a simplified rep. You could go into the view manager and here I am on the simplified rep tab. You could click the new button, but very often people don't have permissions to modify the top level assembly. So that's why you would want to create an external simplified rep in its own separate file. Let's take a look at a few different ways to do that. So here I am in the simplified rep dialog box. Well, you could take one of your existing simplified reps. For example, I will double click on the front rep in order to activate it. Then if you right click on the rep, here we have an option to copy as external. So let me click on that one. I'm gonna call this my car harness simp rep. And here we have the option to open it in its own separate window. You could save it right from the get go and not open it. Here's the option for dependence. I'll go into dependency later on. And here's the option for using my standard default template. I have that checked. So I will click on the OK button. And now it is taking that simplified rep and putting it into its own separate assembly file in its own separate window. And it's like, hey, where the heck is my assembly? Well, there's something weird about this particular model. And so I'm going to select one of the components and then use Zoom to select it. There's some weird model that makes it come in all like zoomed out. But anyhow, this is much better. And to prevent that from happening in the future, let me go to my saved views list and then use reorient. And I'm going to select my default orientation and hit the save button. That way I won't have that problem anymore. Yes, I want to override the default default orientation. Okay, so now I've got my external simplified rep. Let's take a look at some of the differences between the external simplified rep user interface and standard assembly mode. First off, if we take a look at the model tree, there is a special icon for the external simplified rep at the top. Here you can see that we have our assembly that's being referenced is called the master assembly and all its different components. And then we have the default datums from my standard template. Also, if you take a look in the ribbon here, we have a group of icons in the external simplified representation group. And so let's take a look at some of the functionality. First off, you can right click on the top node of the model tree. And then from the right mouse button, here we have a dependency command. And here we can choose to make it dependent. It's the same as this command over here. And what that means is that if the simplified rep called front in the master assembly ever changes, well, then this one will automatically update. I'm going to click the cancel button in, well, now let's choose open. I'll go ahead and do that. And so now that it is dependent, well, you can always choose to make it independent later on. And if the simplified rep called front in the master assembly ever changes, you can use the update representation in order to update it or update it to one of the other simplified reps from the master assembly. Let's hit cancel out of there. Now I'll take a look at a different way of creating a simplified rep. You can do that right from the new dialog box. By the way, if you're taking a look in the interface here, you'll see that define master is grayed out. It's gonna be grayed out unless you create an empty external simplified rep. Let's do that right now. I'll click on the file new button and I'll choose assembly. Here we have the subtype for external simplified rep. And let me call this my car interior simp rep. And I will use my standard default template. Let's click on the OK button. And now you get a dialog box where you can select what model that you want to use for the master assembly. 
But let's say I just click the cancel button. Let's say I don't select anything at all. Well, we have our top node in the model tree. We've got our default datums. And in the external simplified rep group, we have the define master button. So that way I can always go back later on and say, okay, what am I working on today? Let's use the underbody of the car and I'll click on the open button and we get the edit simplified rep dialog box. And from here you could choose, let me make this a little bit wider. Why did it come in so narrow? We have a drop down list and you can choose whether you want to exclude something or if you want something in the master rep or if you want something in the automatic rep. I'll just leave it in the master rep and then click on the open button. And so there we have our master assembly located inside of the top node of the model tree. And we could go about doing our work. All right, let's take a look at creating an external simplified rep one more time from the file new button. Choose assembly as the type, external simplified rep as the subtype. And I will just call this my car simp rep and I'll use my default template. I will click on the OK button. And once again, we can choose our master assembly. Let me filter down the list a little bit. I want this top level assembly as my master. Let me click on the open button. And here we have the component chooser dialog box where we can choose the state of the different components in our rep. From here, we're showing only the active components that are going to be in the rep. Let me spin it around and then I can expand this node and I can say, okay, for what I am working on, there are a bunch of different components that I am not going to need. Let me select those and then I'll grab some of the bumpers and the fender and I'll right mouse click set representation to exclude. And you can also do that from selecting on the drop down list and choose, hey, you know, I don't need those components over there. And so I am happy with this one. Let's click on the open button and it is grabbing those various different components. And once again, yeah, there's some weirdness in this assembly. Let me just select one of the components and zoom to so that it comes in. And normally I would go ahead and create or update the default view, but uh, let's just go continue on with our day here. Okay, so I've got my various different components in the external simplified rep. If you ever want to make changes, well, you can select the top node in the model tree, right mouse click, and here we have an edit definition button, and you can choose an external simplified rep that you want to use. Let me choose the mass rep and then choose the open button. And in that way, we have our component chooser dialog box where you can go and make changes to this. And you could say, hey, you know, for what I am working on today, I am not going to need this one, so let's exclude that and then choose the open button. And in this way, we have updated our external simplified rep uh, for just the components that we are going to need. Okay, so you have all these different components here in the simplified rep, so now you can go about doing your different design work. So I could activate this subassembly and do my work, and I'll do that in a moment, but we have all these different components. You can modify the components in your external simplified rep and they'll be updated in the master assembly. But sometimes you don't want to do that. For example, it's like, here I've got the engine and I wanna make sure no matter what, I don't want to make any changes to it. Well, you can select it and then we have this button here for set for reference only. So that is a very good idea for any of the components that you wanna make sure that you don't modify accidentally. And I'll select another couple more and set them as uh, reference only. You'll notice that when I have it selected now, I can choose it to be set modifiable. So if you want to see the state of your components, which ones that you can modify and which ones that you can't, well, you can add a column to the model tree. Let me go to this icon for the tree columns. I'm going to change the type dropdown list to external simplified rep. And here we have this single choice here called qualification. Well, let's add that column in here. I will click on the OK button and you'll see that underneath the qualification, it says which ones are reference only. 
and which ones are set as modifiable. So that way you can tell what is what. And so now that we have our external simplified wrap, if we want to do our design work, I can activate my vehicle harnesses subassembly, and then I can choose the create button if I want to create my skeleton model, and I'll just click on the OK button and use my standard default template, and I am off to the races. I am ready to perform my design work in my external simplified representation.